Uh-oh, 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 no! Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have a matchup of Tribe Gaming taking on Clash Champs here in the FCC semifinals. You win this, you go to the grand finals. You lose, you still have another chance down on the lower bracket here. But Pete Castro kicking this one off, looking to come in with that queen charge. He only dropped a few he Oh, no. Okay, there's the healers. All of them. I thought he only dropped a few. I thought he was going to do some recall action here, but nope. Not here. As he got a couple lightning spells. Looks like he wants a lightning, the poison, and the single target infernal probably right there. Maybe send the king to the eagle and the royal champ and send the dragon riders right in between. We'll have to see. As the cannon does not go down because the Teslas take those balloons out. More Teslas pop out right over here. Still trying to take out that cannon. Drops one minion and gets that shot off and takes it down. But drops a few more balloons to try to protect this queen through that charge to that town hall. Hmm. Oh, do we have anything else being deployed? No, that balloon's still trying to test for traps. Will it also pull that poison spell? Yes, it pulls the poison spell so he doesn't actually take the poison out. He takes out the sweepers behind the inferno tower here. As the queen needs to loop her way to the town hall. Taking out some of these archers now. With a minute 40. We got some sneaky goblins. There's the king. It looks like he wants to send the king into the air defense. So the dragon riders can move their way straight on into the middle. The queen's now locking on the town hall. Invest that rage. King's got the phoenix on him. Air archer tower is going down. Pops the king ability because time's going to be an issue. As he finally now moves in. Oh, drops the skeleton spell and RC into that defending king. Headhunters to slow him down. And there comes the Dragon Riders. Are we going to see the Stone Slammer moving in? Or is the Stone Slammer going to come in a different part of the base? As the RC is popping her ability. She's going to go down here. Not going to be able to grab the Grand Warden. A triple look around. Skeleton pops right near that Eagle Artillery. He's still being patient. There is the Warden. Out comes a Lava Hound. A Rocket Loon. Queen's taking out the Poison spell. And we still have a Defending Queen over on the top side of this base. The uh, Lava Hound, where is... Oh, okay. Went over to the Queen as the Stone Slammer absorbing some of these shots. Should be able to two-shot that. Oh, pulls a Tornado Trap. We have the Queen ability being forced, unfortunately. Freezing up the Scatter just in time, but the enemy Queen is not going down. So he decides he has to invest the Freeze onto her. As he tries to continue to get these defenses, the Dragon Rider slowly going down, but that Queen is taking forever. Wow, that Owl versus Queen. It seems like his Owl is winning the battle because the Queen is under that poison. The Minions trying to do work. 19 seconds, the Warden goes down. We've got a few Minions. The Dragon Rider can't take that Archer Tower down. The, the Phoenix versus the Queen. The Phoenix might just win the battle. Yes, the Phoenix takes the Queen down, but time... Time, time. It is going to be a two-star for P. Castro. Going to fall short. Time failing this one. Great effort. 95%. Stefan is in. Good luck with the Super Bowlers. Double poisons next to that Town Hall. Warden walking right near this air defense. Couple archers up in the top and left side. And even at six. All the different corners of this base. Does have a jump. Let's see, Stefan. How do you want to take this down? Watch out. That ground expo. That ground expo. That ground expo. Gonna have to force that rage onto the warden and the healers to keep this warden alive. But that expo is going to be on the warden for a very long time as he steps through here. The archers have set a little bit of funnels, grabbing some of those buildings, but it's taking the warden extra long. Now through the storage, taking, using some balloons to go for the Tesla and the cannon, and down they go to help set that funnel. We do have that single target Inferno down south. Drops the king a little bit more down there with some witches and the siege barracks as an ice golem's going in. Super Bowl is Electro Titan. Another healer to charge in. That single target Inferno locks under the king. Uh-oh, that king's going to get hit. There's it comes. Triple ice golems force that king ability early, so he's going to go with the freeze. Ice golem dies. Freeze that area up. Super Bowlers continuing their way in. He has the jump spell to lead towards that town hall. That one balloon pulls double seeking air mines as the king just goes down, but the wizards help to take that bottom section down to try to help force these super bowlers into the core they're jumping there's another rage ground skeletons going down quick to the electro titan pops that warden ability as they're making their way in more ground skeletons that pop but down they go to the electro titan no worries there hogs come out of that siege barracks with the invisibility in the core to keep the super bowlers going through but the healers need to protect them they're going to one super bowler to the top side he has the world champion the queen is taking out the multi freezing up that monolith but we still have the eagle 
and the king on the backside as the queen is going down lost a bunch of the troops in the core they have all gone queen comes back alive with the phoenix the rsc's ability is going to be forced through this rage headhunter doing some work to slow that king down wooden's going down healers need a transfer the src but it looks like we're going to have a defense for p castro of clash champs as well rsc won't be able to do much more she's going down to this ground expo and then when you send those super bullish into the core they got overwhelmed and the healers didn't switch to them so it's all tied up two stars apiece great efforts to fun we've got that phoenix and a little bit more percentage around Gabs, yeah, nope probably won't be able to grab the cannon and all he's gonna get is the 86 percent nice try only the two Patelino is in with the Lalo, the Blizzard Lalo. We've got five invisibility spells. He's going to go Warden on air, Headhunters, Balloons, and the Blimp. There's your Headhunters, Warden ability, protects them, and that one Headhunter is going to go and secure the enemy Royal Champion as the Blimp is making its way to that Town Hall. It lands, Tornado Trap, out comes a Triple Ice Golem. He actually made the Town Hall invisible. So he's wanting to remove everything around the town hall first, it looks like. Now he's taking out the monolith. He's taking that out. Can he now... Oh, look at this. He perp... No, 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 no. The poison, the poison, the poison, the poison, the poison. Oh, he gets it. Pot Delito just barely gets that town hall down. Wow. Okay, now the triple ice going. We're going to get pulled to that queen to the bottom side, but... Really nice use of making the town hall invisible so they get for everything around it. And then the super wizards step around it to then take the town hall. That is not easy to do. That is very difficult. It could easily fail and cause you that one star. But he does it. Gets the value. And now the ice golems will be going down, taking care of them far away from the defenses. And the nice thing is the eagle has it activated as well, which means that he can move his way through the space and doesn't have to worry about eagle artillery shots raining down on him. As the ice golems have been taken care of, the king and queen are going to move their way to the eagle. He could drop the RC to try to go for the multi if he doesn't think his queen's going to go there, because I don't think she will. She may walk. In, she may continue to go left. King's going to have to burn his ability soon, as we've got the king going to the eagle now. All right, queen. Got to wait. Got to determine where she goes. Ground skeletons. Okay, so he's going to send the RC on the left to really push this queen to go grab that multi-target in front of him. Remember, he doesn't have a Lalo to... Or, no, he's got a Lalo. He doesn't have to send a Warden with a Lalo. Queen does indeed actually step in and grab that multi. Nice, with the funneling set. Now he's taking out the other Inferno Tower. Only have to deal with one Inferno Tower with this Lalo, which is going to be huge as the RC ability is hit. Still has Queen ability. Look at this. His heroes are still going, freezing the multi, the tasks, the Hound pulling all the red air bombs in that compartment. Perfectly placed, moving through, pulling the traps. Wow, what an attack here from Patalino. Taking down Rikiris' ring base. Got 35 seconds. He should have enough time here. Two balloons for cleanup as well. As it all goes down, Queen can burn her ability. Burns it now. That was a great attack. Brilliant use of the invis over the town hall so that they take everything around it down and then goes for the town hall after the fact. For the three star here in this match, putting the pressure onto Tribe Gaming. Bluxy, good luck. Bluxy with the queen charge, Dragon Riders. Oh, he goes right into a Tesla farm. Skellies, balloon healers. Bluxy, Fluxy. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh! Oh, no! Oh, boy. He did not want to invest this spell. He had to go with Queen ability there. That Tesla farm did its job causing that Queen ability to go off. Is that going to backfire later in this raid? Won't have the Queen ability for the monolith or the town hall. So he has to be very, very careful. Can't lose this Queen as he lands on top of the Arch Tower. Trying to take out the multi, I would assume. The Yeti Mites? Yeti Mites? No, they're going Bomb Tower. They're... Oh, the Poison spell gets launched. He's not grabbing that multi because of the poison. 
Oh, things are going wrong real fast here for Flux. He drops the poison on the ice golems. He has the thing on the fly. Maybe send the king down to this scatter and the RC for that multi because he can't reach it. No. Oh, or he just completely changes the play on the fly now just to go for the two star because no queen ability. This is not good. This is not good for Flux. The queen walks around. He does have a no. He's got a jump spell. He does not have any more wall breakers. So he's going to potentially jump the queen into the town hall here. Pulling ground skeleton next to that multi. Baby dragon off to the far left. He is going to indeed send the RC, but she's not going in for the multi. She's going for the bomb tower. He's already sent the warden down to move into the bottom. Oh no, that queen. Oh, that queen's going down fast. One model of shot. She is toast. One model of shot. Oh no, he got off. She is gone. He has to somehow get this tunnel down with this king. This is bad. This is real bad, ladies and gentlemen. This king's gonna get hit by a lot. Pops that warden ability. He's already invested that royal champion. Oh, no, no, no. The king needs to come around. The dragon rider's trying to do some work. He's got no more spells. Does have king ability. The dragon riders are trying to also remove the eagle so it doesn't hit the king and do as much damage. The king's gonna take the jump spell. But the mo No, he's gonna go back to the outside. He doesn't know where he should go. He comes back. He's gonna go to the grand warden altar. But the model is gonna lock onto him. Uh oh, king, king, king. He's gonna raise this king up. He's gotta pop the ability. He does, but the king's going down fast. Where is he going next? The king is dead. He comes back alive with the phoenix, but he doesn't even touch the town. Oh! Wow. Look at how much damage he did to the town hall. He almost... If that... That queen ability, I told you. It will come back to haunt him. Oof. Nice try, Fluxy. That's a one star. Here we go. Loop Zera is in. A three star. It is not looking good for Tribe. At any point for Clash Champs. All right. We've got that Warden starting off to the left side. Gonna help grab this area. Wall breaks his way near that Town Hall. We got some Tassels popping up. Double ground Expos. He's going with nine more Sneakies. Pulling some ground Skeletons. Wants to get these Sneakies to grab that Town Hall. As the Flame Flinger is going to look to help take down the bottom side. But they watch out for that multi... That multi... Uh oh It is now locking onto the Flame Flinger now. He didn't do anything to distract it. As the Warden is clearing these Skellies... Oh, that's doing a lot of damage to that Flame Flinger. Watch out. It's going to get, like, no value down there because of the multi-mortar. He's not... Finally, it goes down. But was that enough value? As the Queen is down, he can't get the Sneaky Goblins to target onto this Town Hall here. The Flame Flinger is da now damaging the Wizard Tower. RC locks on the Queen. The Ice Comb dies on the outside. Electro Titan's coming in. Does have one more healer. Deploys it with that King. He does have one invisibility spell as he jumps his double jumps his way straight on into the space. The flame flinger is about to open up. He freezes the ground expo in the wizard tower. Electro Titan's moving their way, and out comes the lava and pops that wooden ability. Still has the king ability. And there's the sneakies for the town hall, and he makes him invisible, and he should be able to secure the town hall now. So that will at least get him the first star. The Valkyries do come out of that flame flinger to run to that king now. Yeti off to the left. Royal Champion to go for the Wizard Tower Expo. But it looks like a lot of these troops are dying off. The king comes back alive, but can't reach that enemy queen. The warden is gone. He died pretty early there. The Valks are still moving around. This raw champion is not going to be able to get too much after this. Does have another rage and a freeze. But we do have a, almost a full health queen on the other side. There's the freeze, and he doesn't get the ground expo. He gets the Tesla. Expo goes down. Queen is going for the wall gonna force her ability due to the scatter shot he's got a rage spell what does he want to rage up the rc dies he can rage up the electro titan on the far outside and he does rages her up and this is a defense for chronos oh nice try loop zera great try my friend only 82% for Loop Zera. Rikirez is in. Good luck, Rikirez. It's got to be a triple. It's got to be that triple, my friend, with the lightning to help grab the queen and the poison spell. Actually, never mind. That queen is half health. Didn't want the queen. Just wanted to grab the poison for sure, so it didn't get launched in his queen's face. 
King's going to go for the enemy queen. He is going to get close to luring out the CC. He will. Sends an Electro Titan into that queen. Moving his way through. King's got the Phoenix. Will stall the CC a little bit more. Look at these goblins going down fast. Drops a poison spell as well as the queen is going to secure the town hall. Pops that ability early. Sends the royal champion to the bottom side. She'll go in for this air expo. The king comes back alive with the phoenix to, to help take down that scatter shot. Brilliant value there. Nice. As the RC continues her way left. No more poisons here. The hound will pop and instantly get vaporized by that electro titan. Oh, that was beautiful. As the queen's going down, the royal champ is now working her way through. Does have to use her ability. Or already did. She's dead from the monolith. This sweeper is not in a good spot here. That's going to push his Lalo back. There's some balloons. If he sends the Stone Slammer into... Ooh, the Eagle locked out of the Baby Dragon there. He is going to send Stone Slammer. Watch out for that sweeper. It's going to push him as the Lalo is coming in across. We have to worry about the Raw Champion. The angle that you say the Headhunter has got to be... It's going to be tough. Drops the Ground Skeleton. Drops the Freeze onto the Scatter. Sweeper's pushing him back. He, he dropped the Skeleton onto the Monolith so that it will be distracted and not locking onto that stone slammer. That's really smart there. As he pops the warden ability, which protects the hound as it flies all the way across to the other air defense. The poison spell did not know what it wanted to do. It wouldn't go off as it is hitting the balloons over the eagle. They are going down super fast as headhunters are locking onto that royal champion. We do have a back end multi with a rage still to utilize. The dragon rider gets locked on by that single target inferno, unfortunately, and the RC does not go down. Uh-oh. Ramirez is falling short in this attack here. Oh, man. Flash Champs bases are holding strong. Wow. Well done. 85. Now, I think all Clash Champs need to do is two-star out. Pretty much. Only the two star 86 for Rikirez. All right. Leo is in. All they got to do is two star out and they will be victorious. We've got the balloon off to the left side. And it looks like that troll Tesla was there. Ooh, that Tesla, man. The Teslas. Those can be nasty. With that Flame Flinger, gonna go and grab the Arch Tower, then into the Scatter Shot. We do have the Mortar over there as well, so you have to be careful. Tribe is looking for a one-star defense to have a chance. As the Flame Flinger is going to grab that ground, or that cannon, and then continue its way in. There's the Wall Break. He's got six Lightning, five healers for this Queen Charge. You get a look to Lightning the Monolith. The air defense, the sweeper. You could go four and then three. Oh, no. You got to go three. You couldn't get that. Couldn't get both of that. Well, he wants to lure out the CC early, so he drops some hogs. So he is going to take out the air defense. And he didn't take out the monolith. Uh-oh. Wait a second. That's going to be our big pain. But remember, Clash Champs only need to get two stars. That's it. And the next two attacks, they will be victorious. As the rage for the queen, as the stone sl no flame flinger opens. Uh oh, that queen ability is forced. She's locking on the town hall now. Out comes a triple ice golem CC. These ground skellies are annoying. Whoa, 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 whoa! The single locks down. What is it? He's got a double freeze, so this queen secures the town hall. The double freeze. Single is now going down, but the queen is not going to be able to survive much longer because of that single monolith. Cut, and it got healed back up to full. And his queen goes down. He's going to move his way in with the balloons towards that multi. The sweeper is pointing up. Pops the warden ability. He's just going for the two at this point and percent. That's what he realizes. It's not going to be a three. So he drops the balloons sprinkled around to try to get the minions to be able to clean up to the top side. At that point, he drops a few more balloons down south. So more minions down there. But if this is a very low percentage here, this... Could give Tribe a chance. 68, 69, 70, 72. That ties Fluxy's percentage. He will beat Fluxy's percentage there. And Stefan's base holding strong here. You know, Stefan's base is so scary that if there's if you bring six lightning and there's one builder tick of health to heal to repair the monolith, it won't go down. 
You can't let the builder get a single shot off. If you take six lightning. That's crazy. Nice try, Leo. They repaired it too quick. There's too many builders there. Turns out to be 80% two star. Nice try. Not gonna convert. Yo, yo, 23. You've got to triple your little. No choice. But has to convert. With that king off to the left, queen is onto the wizard tower. Using some sneakies. Oh my. Let's see. With that king going into the scatter. Can he take it down? Hmm. Yep. Takes out the scatter. The mortar gets launched the poison spell at him. The queen is under a lot of firepower here. Gonna try to loop the queen into the scatter. She's going slowly as the royal champion's going into the bottom multi. The RC's taking out the arch tower first. The scatter's not hitting the healers. RC can make her, her way to the eagle. He's gonna log launch her behind this queen. So it opens up the compartment to that town hall. It's looking pretty solid so far. As the RC can remove the seagull far away from the CC, you have to be worried about rocket loons. Do we have any? No, we got the triple ice golem archers. The eagle is going to go down with the RC ability. Down it goes. And then you can lolo from the bottom side. We do have a monolith over there. Out comes rocket loons in an ice golem of his own. As the rocket loon pulls a poison spell, Queen's going to get frozen yet again, slowing her down. Another rage is down. We do have the single target inferno there as the ice hound is now down with some minions. Balloons. Got to get the worn down, and there it is. The ice hound pulls some traps. It's going to freeze this area. He's got no more hounds as he makes his way around. Headhunter's going into that RC. Pops the ability. The, his queen is going towards that town hall. Our headhunter's lock on the RC. Is there only one of them? Uh oh, I think there's only one left. The RC dies. Or no, the headhunter dies, so the RC stays up. The owl needs to take out this RC. He's got a freeze. He freezes the RC and the monolith at the same time. Queen's still going. Does have her ability. Minions, ice pups around. Does he have enough? It's got to be a triple for Yo-Yo. He's got some balloons. He's got a lot. He drops them over by the wizard tower. Freezes that section up. That was a nice freeze and balloons for the back in wizard tower Teslas. The Teslas are going to go down. They're going to converge onto the air defense. And Yo-Yo steps up. Steps up to get it done. Well done there. Pops queen ability. Takes down the storage. Takes down some other buildings. And we've got ourselves a three-star. Yo-Yo 23. Beautiful job. Selenio is in. And the number you gotta get is an 88% two-star. You do that, you win. If you don't, then that means Tribe can triple and they will win on the final attack. 88%. 87 would mean you draw if Tribe triple. 86, 87, 88 are the important numbers here. As the King is going into the Arch Tower, healers are down onto his Queen. We have a Log Launcher, which is going to activate the Invisibility spell early. As the Ground Expo is locked onto this King, the other Ground Expo is locked onto the Queen. The log launcher will look healthy here, moving in. As the queen's staying up. I love, Oh, there's the lightning on the backside. Takes out the multi and the monolith. That was a very nice log launcher. Oh, look at that. We got goblins and more goblins and more goblins. And he makes them all invisible. Oh, there was no giant bombs there. Imagine, but the queen, the town all goes down. Imagine if there was a giant bomb right there. He would have lost all it. Wait, no. He had, he had regular... Go okay, no, no. He had regular goblins coming out anyways. He wouldn't have lost him. What am I talking about? He's going to continue this queen charge, but the log launcher. That was very nice. That was a very nice log launcher to get that value. The queen's going to continue her way around. This is not looking too bad. Looks like he can definitely get that 88% is the number that he needs. As the queen works onto the RC, he's now pulling out the rest of the CC a little bit. We got a lot of and some headhunters. Do you have a poison spell he can deploy? There you go. And raging these healers up to keep that queen going. He drops the balloons, the warden with the dragon riders to the bottom side. He still has his RC to use. Sends in that RC under the dragon riders. 
The hound pops for this queen. He's racking up some percentage. Just passing the 50% pops that warden ability. Headhunters to go for that defensive king. As the defensive rage spell goes off. We got a Tesla farm to the far left. Dragon Runners are going to try to make their way there. The queen's ability is going to be forced here. It does go off. The queen is needing to will continue her walk up. The Dragon Riders have all decided to go to the bottom side, losing that RC, but she comes back alive with the Phoenix, takes out that scatter shot, trying to take out a little bit more. That queen is not going to be able to hang on anymore. Uh oh, 80. Oh no, wait a second. The queen, that ground expo is trying to take her down. 87. The queen is doing work. 80%. 81. The queen can't take that down. 83. The warden's going down. Uh-oh. Wait a second. He's not getting to 88. Yeah, there's the 85. Wait a second. Wait a second. He just needs a few more buildings. He's got two sneakies. He's got two sneakies here. He takes that down for 86. 87. No. No. Don't tell me. Wait, he's got one archer. This could be a draw. This could be a draw if Tribe Triple. What? What? Oh my, he's going to time fail the percentage. He's one archer away in a few seconds. They could have won. But it's an 87. Oh, uh, that means a triple from Tribe and they tie exactly. And the average dur attack duration is in Tribe's favor. Tribe has it by a landslide by over like 20 seconds, a little less than 20 seconds. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Kronos is in three star. You win because it will be a draw. But they will have the lead in average attack duration because they're they have it about I don't know, 17 or so seconds. I didn't remember exactly what it was, but it was under 20 seconds. They've got the lead. And here we go. Here we go. With that queen going off to the left side, the king is looking to grab this eagle artillery. The opportunity is now for the captain, Kronos of Tribe, to step up as the king takes out the eagle. He's going to get lured to the wall. Poison spell gets launched. He comes back alive. He's not... I don't know what he's trying to go for. As the Rocky Loots are going down, we do have super minions. The... Oh, the Phoenix pulled some seeking air mines there. But that queen, he needs to poison the super minions here. They work down to the Phoenix. Poison? Poison? No. There it is. There's the poison that slows super minions down. Problem is, that ground expo is not going to get targeted by his queen. And she's going to continue her way left. So he needs to drop something for her. Maybe a few balloons as the poison spell is getting is reactivating, coming back, regenerating there as the queen versus RC just takes that RC down. Oh, but this queen is under a lot. The Tesla goes down, sends the blimp to go for that multi-target Inferno, but keeping this queen alive. Hopefully the healers don't transfer off to whatever's inside that blimp. It's going to be a balloon. It's going to be two yetis. Healers stay with that queen. The multi-Inferno goes down. The queen can continue her way up and around this base. The sweeper goes down, pulls the poison spell, He's got to start the attack or something. He could send the RC into here, but then it'll be near that monolith. He's going to send a few balloons into the ground expo. He does have three more rage spells to use. It's got to be a three star or nothing. He's got to go out. So he's got to take all the risk. Pull some giant bombs. There's the hound and the balloons and the warden. Where's the RC coming in? So those balloons pulled that poison spell. We got the RC coming in right under the Lalo. Queen is raged. But the Ground Expo never went down. Pops that Warden ability. But the Town Hall is far, far away. Still up in the space. The Defensive Queen is still up. Sends back in balloons onto the Expo because it's doing some work. The Monolith is going down. Finds the Tornado Trap. He has two freezes. Makes the RC invisible. Uh-oh. What is he going to do with these spells? What is he going to do with these spells? He's going to freeze the Town Hall. There is the Single Target Inferno. He's not doing anything. He finally, he freezes that. The RC is trying to make her way through. He's got a Rage. Oh, my goodness. He needs a... No, but the Poison spell is going to come back alive. The RC's ability is gone. Uh-oh. He's got Queen ability. The minions are working onto the Poison spell. It's coming. He's raging them up. He's raging the minions up so they can get through it faster. He doesn't want that Poison spell to come back. Look at the Rage over the Clan Castle. The Archer's coming in. Go, Queen. You got to move. You got to move, Kronos. 13 seconds. Pop that Queen ability. Hurry up. Nine, eight, seven, six. He's not even popping. He does it now. And it's a three star for Kronos. Oh, my. What?
which means that this is gonna be a draw exactly 11 to 11 tribe 88.8 to an 88.8 what if we take a look at the average destruction percentage tribe has it two minutes 42 seconds and clash ships two minutes 56 seconds which means that tribe gaming is going to be victorious in this matchup oh my on a draw unbelievable the average attack duration gg to try but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you did you know what to do hit the like button subscribe down below see you guys next time